Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are constantly criticized for how slow they are. It's easily the biggest complaint that these games receive. Platinum and HeartGold SoulSilver sped things up, but not by a huge amount. Outside of the speed issues, these games are genuinely my favorites in the series, so is there anything that we can do about it? Emulators, ROM hacks, and even action replays can easily solve the speed issue, but what about real, authentic cartridges on a regular DS system? Can we speed these games up in a way that won't make Nintendo mad? It turns out that the answer is yes! Well, Nintendo might still be a little upset. A few years ago, ACE, or Arbitrary Code Execution, was figured out for the Generation 4 Pokemon games. By performing various glitches, you can unlock the ability to do basically anything you want. So, I decided to investigate how we could use ACE to speed up these games on real consoles and cartridges. And the results were good. Almost too good. Here's a taste of how fast I was able to go. In this video, I'll explain ACE, how I used it to go fast, and how you too can speed up your Generation 4 gameplay. Let's get into it. ACE, or Arbitrary Code Execution, is a type of exploit that allows you to execute custom code. You've probably heard of it before in games like Paper Mario, Ocarina of Time, or just older Pokemon games, but it's a super powerful tool with nearly limitless possibilities. It was discovered in the Generation 4 Pokemon games by a group of glitch hunters back in 2021. Currently, we have ACE setups for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. ACE is possible in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, we just don't have a setup for it yet. If you want to learn more about the discovery and how it all works, I linked Retire's amazing video on the subject in the description. Setting up ACE does require some effort, but the setup improved significantly just a few months ago. If you've seen Gen 4 ACE videos before, you're probably familiar with the old setup that involved catching a Kakuna, then entering it into the Hall of Fame 28 times. This is obviously tedious and time consuming, so Retire came up with a new setup that doesn't have to do this and is about 2 hours faster. I won't go through it in this video to keep things brief, but I linked Retire's detailed guide in the description. Once ACE is set up, codes are input using the .artist Poketch app. We use Retire's script converter website to figure out what dots to put to get the outcomes we want. For example, let's say we want to add a level 100 fortress to our party. We can go on the site, make a script that calls the add Pokemon command and tell it we want a fortress that's level 100, then we copy the .artist display on the right side to our game's Poketch. Hugely important tip, be sure to quadruple check you copied the code correctly because some codes get very long and it's easy to mess things up. From there, you enter and exit the Pokemon menu, then activate the script by talking to the appropriate NPC. In Diamond and Pearl, this would be the Postman, and in Platinum, this would be the Pokemart Cashier. And boom, you got a level 100 copy of the best Johto Pokemon. It's important to note here that we're really doing arbitrary script execution. All these commands are built into the game, we're just activating them with specific parameters. Now that you know the b ace ix Sorry, that, that was terrible. Let's just talk speed. If we want to speed things up, we need to rewrite the game's code. And fortunately, we can easily do this using the game's built-in commands. Using the load address value command, we can override values at specific addresses in memory. If we override the right addresses, we can potentially change how fast things happen in-game. But before we can figure out what we are writing to memory and where, we need to think about the factors that make Gen 4 slow. Okay, what are the biggest speed issues with Gen 4? Let's start with the obvious one. HP bars suck in Gen 4. They are horrendously slow once you get to the high levels. This is because battles run at 30 FPS and HP ticks down once per frame. So if a Pokemon has 600 HP and gets one shot, it'll take 20 seconds to tick down to zero. So any way that we can speed this up and avoid the Blissey Torture Chamber would be great. Text is another roadblock in our quest to go fast. Text prints super slowly, and battle animations don't start until text finishes printing. Even with animations off, abilities like Intimidate print about 2 seconds worth of text every single time you activate it in battle. This really adds up. To further illustrate my point, I did a Pokemon Platinum speedrun with an instant text mod. This run wasn't amazing, but it didn't matter. Going from the fast text speed to instant text was enough to save almost 40 minutes compared to my personal best. This is the result of both battles and general dialogue going way faster. Clearly, instant text is a massive deal in these games. Game speed outside of battles is generally fine, ignoring some frame drops in places like Veilstone City or Route 212 when it's rainy. Text is probably the most important thing to speed up outside of battles, but once you beat the game, there aren't really long cutscenes. In order to make the game feel faster, we want to speed up text, battles, and health bars. And again, I want to do this on a real cartridge without hacking or modding. So how do we accomplish this with ACE? Like I said, we need to rewrite the game's code, but this is tricky. How do we know what to rewrite, and where is the code we want to rewrite? The good news is that we can skip these concerns. 
for this proof of concept at least. It turns out, action replay codes solved the game speed problem years ago. I did some searching and found codes that speed up the game significantly. You're probably thinking, Etchy, what are you doing? You just said you wanted to go fast without things like action replays. And you're right, but hear me out. If you watch my video on the Ace Trainer Shoko glitch, you might remember me explaining that action replays simply change values at addresses in memory. So, by using the built-in command to change values in memory, we can achieve the exact same effect as some action replay codes, all on an unmodified, real cartridge just by utilizing glitches. I converted tons of different action replay codes that speed up gameplay into ace codes, but as expected most of them are super buggy. For example, this one makes your walk speed the same as the bicycle, which is a great way to move quickly in buildings. Sadly, if you try to surf after activating it, you get stuck in surf mode and things get goofy. Ultimately, the most useful codes I found that actually work are codes for instant techs, instant health bars, and uncapped frame rate. Let's start with the most impactful one. This isn't a new cheat or hack, it was posted by Lunos all the way back in 2016. This original post explains how to edit the ROM file to uncap the frame rate. I later found Dark Bowser 64's video that showcases this hack, and critically, had action replay codes in the description that provided the same effect. These are the codes I ended up converting into ace scripts. By activating this code in Diamond or Pearl, we uncap the frame rate and dramatically speed things up. This is also a great code to illustrate how I translated it into Ace in case you wanted to convert other codes yourself. Taking a look at this code, we are writing 0 to this address and 0 to this one. Using the load address value command with Ace, we can achieve this in two calls. First, we load this address with 0, then the next address. And that's the entire script, we just copy these codes into our Pokech and activate it. So what's the actual impact of uncapping our frame rate? Well, most things are faster. Speed is directly tied to FPS in these games. Movement is sped up in areas where minimal NPCs are loaded in, and battles are lightning fast. The main issue is that the frame rate is pretty variable outside of battles. I found this to be perfectly fine for battle heavy activities, but kind of annoying for moving around Sinnoh. The best part is that music isn't tied to frame rate, so music plays normally. The only issue that pops up is sound effects ending early since the game literally does not have time to play them out fully. I've actually been using this for weeks now on my Twitch streams to tackle the Battle Factory in Pokemon Platinum. It makes the Battle Frontier so much more enjoyable since it speeds up literally everything. Clearly, this code has a massive impact on game speed. It speeds up battles, text, and health bars all in one, at the cost of also impacting things you might not want sped up, like movement. For instant text, I found this old code on tons of different websites. It changes the value of the game's message speed, the one that gets set in the options menu. The fast option corresponds to 2, and the code says that you can set it all the way to 8, which is blazingly fast. So I tried it, and yeah, this code does nothing. If you change the value to anything above 2, the game ignores it and treats it like the standard fast tech speed. Trying old action replay codes and discovering they did nothing was a recurring theme in my research. Fortunately, I did find an actual working instant text code. When converted into an ace script, it works well with one caveat that I'll discuss later. Text does indeed become instant, drastically speeding up battles and dialogue. While I was at the Pokemon World Championships, I actually activated the script after uncapping the frame rate when I was shiny hunting, and the result was getting 3 to 4 times more encounters than I normally would. While there is an existing action replay code to flat out remove the HP gauge animation, I wasn't able to convert it using Ace. The issue here is that this action replay code freezes an address that changes every time you enter battle. So if we tried this with Ace, We'd set the value in the Pokemart, enter a battle, then that value would immediately be changed. This doesn't mean it's impossible, it just requires more work and knowledge that I do not possess. Maybe someone smarter than me can figure it out. The good news is that the uncapped frame rate code naturally speeds up the health bars, since it speeds up literally everything. Okay, so we have some concrete ways to drastically speed up a real cartridge's gameplay using arbitrary code execution. What's the catch? Probably the biggest catch is that these ace scripts are only good for your current session. When you turn off your DS, these speedup tricks go away and you'll have to reactivate the scripts once you start playing again. This is a bigger deal for Platinum than it is for Diamond and Pearl. In Diamond and Pearl, you can access Ace whenever you enter a Pokemon. But Platinum's a bit more restricted. Once you leave Platinum's Pokemon, you have to reset up Ace with the Wonder Card every time you want to activate new scripts. At the very least, if you activate the script for uncapped frame rate, the effect will persist on soft reset. So you could delete your save, then do a fresh playthrough on maximum overdrive. 
And of course, you can simply leave your system on sleep mode if you want the effect to last. There is an action replay code by Reddit user The Year of Waluigi that only uncaps frame rate in battle, but this isn't simple to do with my ace approach. Also, the instant text dot code is very long and easy to mess up, but the bigger issue is that it doesn't fully work for Diamond and Pearl. Once activated, you'll only have instant text in battles and not in regular dialogue. I'll work on a different version of this in the future, but the Platinum instant text script works everywhere just fine. Lastly, a big issue is that there is currently no accessible ace setup for Heart Gold Soul Silver. These games are faster than the Sinnoh games, so it's not the biggest loss, but it would still be nice to speed them up, especially in the Battle Frontier. So, to use these scripts on your own cartridges, first you'll need to set up Ace in Diamond or Pearl by following Retire's Guide in the description. If you want to perform Ace on Platinum, you'll need to transfer your Diamond or Pearl Ace using the Wonder Card script on Retire's website. Basically, just search for Wonder Card Ace, then follow the instructions that come up when you click the Info button. Once you have Ace set up in your desired game, copy the appropriate dot code and activate it. I'm showing them on the screen now, but I'll also put up these scripts on my website, syndroruins.com, soon. Links for everything in the description. When people think of Ace in these older games, they typically think about things like instantly beating the game or programming games within the game. As a result, we don't really think about the smaller, more subtle things that can be done to improve your gameplay experience. What I showed in this video is just the proof of concept. The possibilities are endless. I really want faster health bars, so that's going to be what I work on next. I think my ideal setup for Platinum would be instant text and fast health bars with the regular frame rate. But the uncapped frame rate is still super clutch for Battle Factory runs. Also, as soon as we have an ace setup for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I'll be sure to update my site with scripts to activate these effects. I would love to hear about other gameplay improvements you all would like to see achieved via arbitrary code execution. Maybe there's some easy tweaks that I can make that I didn't think about. I also want to know if you'll be giving any of these codes a shot. I know it's a lot of effort, but I think it's a really cool way to improve your experience playing the best gen. Before I end this video off with a showcase, I want to give a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would also like to support my research and archiving efforts while also getting some bonus videos and articles, you can check me out at patreon.com slash etchy. Special shoutouts to Frorio, Mithra Was Taken, Veroda, Fuzzy Hugs, Pastel Punk, Birder, and PSF for your support. To cap things off, I'll show a side-by-side -side comparison of a battle with Barry. On the left we have regular old diamond, and on the right we have diamond with instant text and uncapped FPS accomplished with ace. That's going to be it for this video, please subscribe if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.